On Cranes Etc there are loads of reviews, but this time it's reviews of loads. Both these loads are made by IMC and the first is a tram load. And the box weighs 14 ounces or about 400 grams. The second load is a transformer and it weighs 2 pounds 6 ounces or over 1 kilogram. We'll look at the transformer first and as the box says this is part of IMC's loads and tools range. And it's a heavy transformer with lifting cables. The packaging is quite simple, there's a sleeve that covers a box. And as it's factory sealed we need to get the knife out. Inside we see there's some black foam rubber. And when the top layer is removed we get to see the model inside. There are no nice finger holes in the side packaging to be able to get your fingers in, so you've got to kind of force them in. And just be careful not to grab anything delicate. There's also a second item in the box, but first we'll unwrap the transformer, which is wrapped in soft paper. Once it's out we can get to the second part of the model. And that is also wrapped in soft paper, and it's some lifting cables. And that's it, and there are no instructions for the model. The tram load has the same packaging, and both of these models are complete out of the box. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. Starting underneath the tram there is some detailing. And that also includes a pair of axles complete with rail wheels. This model is of the centre section of a tram so each end is blanked off with a kind of replica tarpaulin. And the entire model is made of resin and plastic. The detailing on it is very good and includes some small graphics details. The interior is also really good with all of the seats modelled. And also the grab rails are modelled including those that hang down from the ceiling. The high level of detail also continues on the top of the tram. There's cabling and also some nicely modelled fans. Included with the model are a couple of lifting beams. These are simple but they're also usable with lifting eyes at each end. The transformer is perfectly flat underneath. But the detailing on this resin model is of a very high standard. There's a temporary blanking plate at this end. And the detail is enhanced by small graphics. Also pleasing to the eye are various bolt head details. The graphics on the side tells you that this is a Siemens transformer and the lifting point is modelled well as is the permanent support points. Looking on top the details are intricate and it also looks like there's a temporary blanking plate and various parts are modelled underneath it. Here in close up you can see some of the very nice bolt head detailing. Moving to the other end of the transformer and there's more good looking details. And that includes small graphics and there are also red cover plates. So overall wise the appearance is top notch. And it also has these lifting strops. And these are made of metal. Let's now check the weight of the models themselves. And the tram is just under 10 ounces or about 265 grams. But the transformer is more substantial at nearly two pounds or about 0.9 of a kilogram. Although this model is a load it does have moving parts in that the axles can be rotated. And that's good news because it means we can give it a run out on the cranes etc test track. And how much fun is that? There are a couple of ways to display this model as a load and first we'll put it onto a suitable truck. And there you can see the giant hand crane making light work of putting it onto the low loader. An alternative way to display the model is as a crane load. And here we've used some rigging from a Vice Brothers kit and we'll connect it up to the lifting beams. The large shackles are just the right size to fit onto the beams. And once the rigging is all connected up, we can then use it with the tram. 
Note here that we're using straps for the rigging because we don't want to scratch the surface of our nice new tram. The lifting beams get placed under the tram and there's no fixed position for them. But obviously you do want to place them so that the load is balanced. And once they're all set, you can then use the rigging to lift the tram. The transformer is a particularly heavy load, and although the weight is not stated, we'll put it onto a multi-axle trailer. We can also use the transformer as a crane load, and the lifting ropes are in two different lengths, so you have to double them up and get them the right way round. And as long as you've got a suitable heavy lifting crane, then you can have a go at lifting the transformer. For this lift, we're using a large eight axle telescopic crane, and we're lifting it at a short radius. And it all makes for a very good display combination. These are two very nice loads produced by IMC models. They are not metal but the use of resin and plastic does mean that high detail can be produced and they are both suitable for use either as truck loads or as loads for cranes. So if you want an interesting accessory for your model displays, these loads are very good. Mm -hmm. 